trade. Shoot. Why are openings so important? Uh, they're actually, I'll, I'll tell you guys straight up. Openings are absolutely not important whatsoever up until a certain level. Now I get Jeffrey around for, I'm probably going to stick to the same routines again at this point. You just want to keep it simple, not take too many risks. Okay. Second cam is up. There we go. And away we go. So I'm going to do the same thing I did last game. Let's play C4 because Jeffrey also likes to play Bishop F5 all the time. Um, okay. He's going to do this one. Yeah. This is a little bit different here. I have to be a little bit more careful how I play against this order. There's, I mean, there's obviously some D4s. Now I think this is supposed to be just a draw with perfect play as I recall. Um, now one thing is someone's asking a question right as the game is starting. They were saying, you know, what, why are openings so important? Openings don't matter at all up until probably a grandmaster level. Um, they just don't, they just don't matter at all. Um, if I'm being, if I'm being true, truthfully honest now, do I want to play a three? Do I want to play Bishop B five? I think I'm just going to play a three knight C three. I don't know if this is best, but okay. It goes Bishop D six, which is kind of an interesting, intriguing, really, I should say, cause he played a five which should not be right because he's giving me a permanent home on b5 somehow okay this is interesting okay let's go here target the knight i don't really know if this is the right move but he played Yay! a5 which just feels, it feels wrong i guess i'll go here he's gonna castle and then i'm gonna castle because now when he goes 95 i always trade 94 i always trade as well should be should be okay but again, we'll see. I just feel like the pawn on a five is misplaced somehow. Just seems very slightly wrong, but we'll see. trade shoot yeah i realized he had this move as soon as as soon as i started looking away i was thinking i realized he has this bishop h2 nonsense that is rather unfortunate um that being said how bad really is this is this really all that bad i can go king h1 97 no what king h1 97 takes is just nonsense that was a little bit careless of me Now I can play something like G3 as well, um, but really, really careless. Yeah, I think at this point, I probably have to try to just make a draw. Not what I wanted to do, but... Is that a draw, Rook C7? Hmm. Sally Bugs just subscribed. Seven, okay, V8, 95. See it, rook F7, rook E8, rook there, there, there. I think it's okay. Yeah, just go here. I'm gonna take, I go knight F3 and trade. And I, I think I should be able to draw. So I also have rook C7, rook B7 as well. not super enthused by this but it is what it is i should be able to draw this without too much difficulty i think i think at least i could be wrong on that but that's my assumption i mean i'm down two pawns though he takes i go knight f3 takes takes knight b6 rook c7 or rook c5 feels like it should be good enough although the more i look at this the more maybe unconvinced i become about my play in this end game takes knight f3 Using a lot of time here. Not gonna be able to win this game because Castle was just a big, big mistake by me. Maybe I should have played A4 there. Huh. So he's thinking for a while here. I mean, he either has to take or go Queen B2, I think. 
I don't really know why he's thinking. I mean, maybe he's just spending all his time calculating this queen d4 line to see what he can come up with and then go from there. But um, I think it should be a draw. Yeah, I go here. We trade. The one good thing here is that in this end game, because the pawn is on a5, it actually should give me good drawing chances. If pawn was on a7, this would probably be a lot worse. Here what he does. Probably he just trades. It was queen b2. Very interesting choice. What am I up here? Or what am I down, rather? I'm down one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm down two pawns, actually. Wait, I'm down more than I thought I was. Although I think I just said I'm down two pawns. Um, okay, so let's take. I think I will go here and then rook c7. And it, this, this should be, this should be fine. He has to take and then I go here, hit the pawn. And if b6, I think I have rook c6 here as well. Or rook b7, maybe. Actually, b6 takes knight d5, last queen c5. So that also probably is good enough. Goes a4, yeah. So this this is actually... I wouldn't say it's quite a draw offer, but it's pretty close to a draw offer. I guess I just... I, I guess I just take. I don't know. Trade takes. Very hard to, to lose this. Especially with knight e5 here. Now let's just go here, target the pawn. If he goes rookie four, I just go knight e7. He goes rookie four, I have rook b1. Uh, rookie eight? Oh, does that not hang a pawn somehow? Wait a second. Knight of seven, rook d4, rook one. Wait a second. I might have gotten a touch careless. Still should be a draw, but. Wait, knight f7, rook d4, rook c1. Wait a second. Okay, knight takes f7, rook d4, f4, rook d, rook e2. I mean, I'm sure it's fine, but I almost don't want to allow it. So I think what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go here. Rookie eight's a very tricky move. I suspect I could have taken the pawn, but I, I honestly am not sure, so it's not worth it. Um, and I guess I can go F3. If knight e5, I just take and go rook b2. Like, that has to be a draw. Knight e3, rook e1. Yeah, this, this, this should just be a draw. I mean, he, he can start pushing the pawns, and he will, but with six minutes on the clock, I really should never lose this end game. It goes there, I take, I go here, cover the pawn. Go uh, here, I guess. Doesn't really matter where I go. Here. Uh, let's just go here, I guess. I mean, everything kind of draws. Let's go here. Wait. All right, he goes king e5. Again, another reasonable move. Let's just go here. Mm 
Yeah, it goes there. Um, so now he's gonna try to play, I guess, F5 or something. I go. Okay, I can play Rook B4, which is good enough. I mean, Rook B8 should be a draw, but I just wanna make sure on this. Rook B8, G4, check. King H7, Rook G5 is a draw. King F7, Rook G5, G3, King H3. That is all a draw. Go here. There, I mean, everything, like I said, is literally just a draw here. G4, I just take and go rook h5. Go here. So he's trying to he's trying to go here. I just go back. Doesn't even matter still. Oh, this he, I actually gave him something I shouldn't have given him, though, to be to be fair. I did give him something I shouldn't have. Let's go here. Oh. Yeah, I mean he he can go back to F4 and he should actually. Okay, I'll come back. He's still trying to go for um wait, but now if I check and go rook uh rook B rook C5 G4. That's still a draw, but I think the safest way. Okay, rook b2, h3, check. Is 1983, just yeah, this, this is still fine. So if he plays h3, I can just go check. And king e3 is no good, so. I guess let's go. h5, g3, king h3, king f2, though, still. Let's go here. Now I go. Oh, I actually, wait, I, did I misplay this slightly? Wait a second, did I actually kind of make a mistake here? Takes, takes. No, it's still a draw, but he, he has to go G4. Take, he takes. Now the question is, what is the specific draw? I mean, rook, rook A2 is probably a draw. Rook A3, king F2 check, king F1, rook A4, could be a draw. Rook D3, rook A4, of course. Now I check. Again, he's trying to basically get this into a situation where I get too low on time and I make a mistake. This, however, gives me rook h8. Um, oh, rook h8, king f2 or something. He's still trying to come up with tricks. He still has king f2, but then I go check again. But he's going to have to play g3 at some point. And it's still it's still just a draw. I go check. Yeah. All right, we got the draw. Not not a game that I'm very happy with, but it is what it is. Thank you, GW Lebnis for six. Black can play G3 just for people who are wondering about the end game and go King F2. But what I do is I actually just start waiting around the side again, and it just it just leads to uh, it's just a very straightforward draw. Thank you to SJ for the six. Thank you to Dackerson for the twenty one. Venomous for the 21. Thank you to Crows for the 10 months. Thank you to OEG, Ouija Wijin for the two months. Sally Bugs for the four. Thank you to Miwo for the, um, thank you so much to Miwo as well for the, um, 
uh, for the two months. They get a pull daily for the 17. They get a bonus spell for the three. Swarns for the 14. Mr. Kohai for the 10. AAL 2018 for the 36. Daddy for the 17. San Antonio Rook, Rook for the eight. Go Duke with the 13. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you to Smitty Kazzy. Thank you so much. Thank you to 194 Andrew Zitch for the prime and BFSC for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, it was just a bad opening choice. I mean, if I go back here, I should have just moved the bishop first. And it's not ideal or anything, but it's kind of just a game. But he found bishop h2, which was a very, very nice move. A lot, a lot of credit to him for finding this. Um, the only thing I was wondering is, did he have something better than what he did? Okay, so that's this. Eh, not really. I oh, maybe queen b7 is better, huh? Bill BCO just took five okay, so I guess here it says he can play b6, but what is the difference if I go here? Great content, Hikaru. 94 and rook a d8 okay i mean this this is already pretty random so no it's probably not actually all that special what happens if i take on h4 at which point uh, oh 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 right here oh yeah yeah this one yeah yeah this is a nice little trick here um if i take on h4 here black goes check you have to go here he trades and he wins the pawn and then he makes a queen and i lose the game